Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dunbar Snack Bar, and finally, I have got the questions and answers that you guys have been waiting for here out of the Kevin Millard series. Now, what had happened was when I was going to do the question and answer video, I got so many questions that were revolving around YouTube that I just decided, you know what, I'm going to make a whole video with just some of the questions that are asked about YouTube. And then the next video out of Kevin Millar was when I got promoted to AAA. So I didn't want to go ahead and just do questions and answers for a video that was that huge in the career of Kevin Millar. Not like your questions and answers don't matter. Um, I mean, it is huge, but I just wanted to make sure I focused on the gameplay on that one particular video. All right, so uh, since now I can go ahead and do it, I apologize if your questions are not read off on here. There's going to be plenty of opportunities to have your questions read off here on YouTube and have me answer them. So I'm going to keep going here with just posting them on Facebook or Twitter, just like, hey, I'm going to be doing a Kevin Millar video soon. So if you have questions, send them my way. And I think to kind of make it helpful for those who don't have Facebook or Twitter or don't follow me on there, um, I'll just be announcing, you know, I'll be like, hey, the next video will be a Kevin Millar question and answer. So make sure you send in your questions or something like that. All right. So let's go ahead and get to them. Oh, by the way, just to avoid any confusion, yes, there are two games in one. All right, so I guess when I'm in the bullpen, I can afford to do this from time to time and also uh, make the plays that you see a little bit longer, or the highlights, I guess I should say, a little bit longer. But anyway, let's just go ahead. We're going to get to it. We're going to answer the questions here. We're going to start off on Facebook from Eric, who asked, when did you get into video games and what console was your first? All right, so my very first console was the original Super Nintendo, all right, the NES. Uh, eight bits of grand awesome, all right. So uh, I played a lot of Mario. There was like Temco Super Bowl, Bases Loaded. Man, there was a lot of great games that I used to play on that one. Uh, and then, of course, ever since then, I've had the next console. So it went uh, NES, then I went Super Nintendo, then I went Nintendo 64, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and now I also have the PS3. So now that I think about it, this is actually the first time I have ever had more than one system. Hmm. And it just started this Christmas. But yeah, I've always played sports games along the way. Also played some shooters as well. So um, the age where I started... Gosh, I must have been like four or five or something like that. I really can't remember when we first got the Nintendo. So I had to have been pretty young. Probably like 89 or so. But anyway, yes. So that is the answer to that question. And absolutely, I'm going to be continuing to get consoles too. So I'm getting ready to order the PlayStation 4 when that opens up this summer. And I'm also going to get the next Xbox as well. So... I think I'm going to keep with the tradition that I have just started, I guess, of getting both consoles. Um, all right, so what do sports mean to me? That one comes from Aaron. Well, sports has been a pretty big part of my life. Uh, when I think about the times that I had in the summer, I think about the times that I played baseball and in school when I played baseball. You know, there's a lot of great memories of spending times with friends, not just playing the game, but being able to watch it as well. This kind of ties into uh, another question here from YouTube which was, uh, what is my greatest memory growing up? Honestly, it was going to baseball games. Uh, you know, going to see the Colorado Rockies and President Bush was there and we got to see these Secret Service snipers on top of buildings. Or, you know, one of my friends, um, his dad actually paid for me and him, uh, him being the dad and my friend, all to go out to spring training for two years. Uh, like, we would go out for a week at a time, but you know, we did it twice. And that was a ton of fun as well. Got to stay in some great places, eat at some great restaurants. So sports to me is all about positive memories. But I, I guess there's more to it because with sports, it brings out some of the greatest stuff in humanity. Uh, you know, it's a contest between the, the two teams. Miraculous things happen. It gives us hope. Uh, there's a lot of great things that come from sports, which is why I appreciate it so much. But really, it's just the positive memories that I have. And also just kind of knowing, you know, what baseball re can represent to a lot of people. So I guess that's like a, a quick answer to that one. Because honestly, I could go like super in depth in what base, uh, baseball and I guess I should say sports means to me. Um, 
All right, so let's go to YouTube. Um, this one comes from Matt Nader. What is my daily schedule, like my hours for work? How late am I up playing and editing? And how much sleep do I get? Um, okay, so the job that I work at, the hours kind of vary depending on what role that I'm doing. So like right now, um, where I'm working, I answer questions for people who are brand new to the company. So right now my hours are 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So after that, you know, I'll come home, I'll hang out uh, with my wife a little bit, and maybe play some video games and edit until about 2 in the morning. Then I go to sleep and, you know, up at 10 to get ready for work and all that stuff. So that's kind of my schedule right now. What it's going to be in, uh, gosh, three weeks now is I'm going to be um, working 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 11 o'clock at night. And then once I get done with that, I'll probably stay up till about 5 or 6 in the morning just doing uh, video games, editing them, and then I'll go to sleep and probably wake up you know, at 1 and stuff for the day. So not the most ideal schedule, but the thing that's nice is if I work that late, I get paid 10% more. So every little bit helps at work. It's like a 10% raise, and I do the exact same thing. So, yeah, that's kind of my schedule. Um... You know, usually on the weekends, I'll spend a lot of time playing video games. My wife is absolutely awesome. She knows that stuff like this is important to me. Um, so, yeah, she's she's okay with it. Because to kind of answer the next question here, let's see if I can find where it was. Um, let's see. I can't remember who said it, but... Uh, somebody asked, oh, here it is. Luke Benson asked, do you make money? Because I think you should. Yes, I do. Um, I do get paid to do this. I'm paid based off of the views that I get. Um, well, the advertisements, I should say, that are viewed. So the, there's a particular amount that I get based off a certain amount of advertisement views that are on the channel. So I do get paid for this. And my wife, that's one of the reasons why she's okay with this because I get paid for this and it's it's kind of nice i mean in no way can i support myself or my family just by doing this if i could i would but since i can't this is kind of like a second job slash hobby for me so yeah i get paid and that kind of answers um another question of mine which is uh am i currently partnered or or when am i currently or when do i expect to be partnered where is that one um I can't find it. All right, but anyway, um, I am partnered. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. Devin, do you think you will be able to get partnered by YouTube? I already am um, because I'm actually partnered through Machinima. So how that works is there's different organizations. You know, there's like full screen Machinima. Um, gosh, there's a whole bunch of others. But anyway, what they'll do is, you know, you'll get in a contract with them because that network actually gets... Uh, paid for the amount of views that you do in the advertisements and then they split it with you or you know however you have it set up with them so um, yes I've been partnered through Machinima so I am there it is something that I recommend who anybody who is looking to commentate I recommend everybody does that because that's where your revenue comes from is by getting partnered with some of these organizations so you know go at that if, if you're looking to do um, videos let's see what else do I got um Ooh, political views. Um, I'm moderate in my political views. So what I mean by that is I don't think any one party has it all right, nor do I think conservatives or liberals have it all right either. I believe in a happy medium between the two of them where through proper research and analysis, we can come to the best conclusion on what to do about certain situations. So... Um, there are times where I lean more Republican. There are times that I lead more Democrat. I'm very, very neutral on things. Um, and unless I am really informed on a particular subject, I really don't give out an opinion. But, yeah, I'm very in the middle on a lot of things. So um, I'm not going to go too deep into that except to say I believe in middle ground. Um, all right. What else do we have? Oh. What is your preference between MLB 2K and the show? Which do you like more? So that one comes from Kathy. Um, honestly, I would have to say that I do like the show better. I've kind of mentioned this before, but 
Um, MLB 2K is a baseball game. In MLB The Show, I see this more as a baseball simulator. So uh, there's an additional level of realism in the game. And one of the big things about the show that everybody mentions is the visuals. And that really, really is a big component of why I do like the show as well because of the different animations and things like that. It, it really, uh, really adds some diversity to the game. Now, one thing that I hear about the show, though, is the commentary isn't as great as 2K. Well, that may be all fine and dandy, but it's been like two or three years since I've actually played a game with commentary on because every game that I play, I intend to go ahead and post it on YouTube. So, um, but yes, between the two, if I had a choice, which... I guess I did have a choice as to which one I was going to go with. I would definitely go with the show if you guys have um, if you guys have the choice. So um, I got asked about favorite teams. I'll kind of go through that since I get asked that all the time. For baseball, it is the Oakland A's. For the NFL, it is the San Francisco 49ers. For the NBA. This is going to sound kind of weird for some people, but it's actually the Seattle Supersonics. So when I was was younger and when the Supersonics were still in Seattle, I mean, they were my team. Like, I had a, a Sean Kemp jersey that I would wear all the time. And my friend had a Gary Payton jersey that he would wear all the time. So, yeah, Supersonics are my team. Kind of uh, following what's happening between the Sacramento Kings and Seattle. Maybe... Um, we'll be seeing the Supersonics back. I actually haven't checked in a few days to see if there's anything new going on with that. But, yeah, the Sonics. Um, NHL, that one is a lot tougher for me. If I had to pick one team, I would say the New Jersey Devils. And this is kind of silly because I haven't watched NHL that much. I mean, here in Nebraska, I mean, we have, like, a local hockey team. Um, but, you know, really, that's it. And there wasn't too many opportunities for me to watch NHL growing up. But I used to play them quite a bit in, like, video games and stuff. So I guess I kind of got a little bit of a loyalty to them because of it. But anyway, so we're going to wrap up this video. Kevin Millar, apparently the manager, walks through walls and is not happy with him. Where, gosh, that's really not too bad. One run over three innings. All right. And everybody else, all the other pitchers kind of failed too. But, hey, that's all right. So I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, I'm going to be doing some more question and answer stuff here pretty soon. So um, just be on the lookout here. Make sure you tune into the end part of the video so you'll be able to know when it's coming up next. But thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. You guys are phenomenal people. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.